whole shaky. Hi everyone! On today's Seattle weekend, I visit a rustic looking German pub, Rheinhaus. The proudest item they have on the menu would be their worst and breads, which are made from scratch in house every day. Not wanting to miss out on the great selection they offer, I decided to try the Grillwurst Schmenkel, an almost 2 pound sampler of all the sausages they offer, along with sauerkraut and mashed potatoes. I also ordered their traditional Flammkuchen, which is crispy German flatbread on house-made sourdough topped with smoked bacon, onions, and sour cream. Rheinhaus also carries an impressive amount of German and Belgian beers. Unfortunately, I am not a huge beer fan, so I ended up getting a grapefruit ginger beer while my friend got a Hales Kult. On every table, there are three different kinds of mustard to try. Stone ground, yellow picnic, and spicy sweet. The names and colors of the bottle pretty much correspond to their flavors. The stone ground has more of a seat-like texture and has the strongest flavor. The yellow picnic is smooth while the spicy sweet is what it says in the name. What I did was dab a little of each of my plate, but in the end, I kind of just mixed all three together. This is the Hales Colt. From the lightness of it, you can tell there isn't very much hops. It's a pretty typical German-style beer, light and crisp. Overall, a very refreshing drink for the warmer weather we are experiencing now. My grapefruit ginger soda was amazing. Yes, I judged myself a little too for not ordering a beer, but this is technically still a beer. It's in the name and it did taste really yummy. The ginger flavor was strong. I'm looking at you, Rachel's ginger beer. And the natural citrus flavor of the grapefruit made the drink a great accompaniment to all the meat and bread I was going to have later. You can also play boche here, which I thought was very cool. Boche is a ball sport where you try to throw your ball as close to a jack the target as possible. You can either pay as a walk-in to play or reserve the whole area. The Flamkluchin arrived and it looked delicious. It tasted more like a pizza than flatbread in my opinion, just because it was made from sourdough, so it was fluffier with a thicker crust around the edges. The toppings were just enough, the smoked bacon and sour cream went perfectly together, just like a baked potato, and the onions were deliciously sweet. I would definitely come back and try another Flamkluchin. Dun dun dun. Talk about a sausage fest! On the plate were seven different kinds of sausages. There was bratwurst, Polish kielbasa, spicy smoked bratwurst, smoked beef and bone marrow, Hirschwurst, Nuremberg, and then there are the special sausages at the end there. The bratwurst is a beef and pork sausage with pepper and ginger. The Polish kielbasa is a pork sausage with garlic. The spicy smoked bratwurst is 100% beef sausage with a variety of spices and seasoning. The smoked beef and bone marrow sausage has black pepper, cumin, and nutmeg. The Hirschwurst is a venison and beef sausage with rosemary, garlic, sage. And the Nuremberg is a pork sausage in a lamb casing. And the special sausages is a mystery because our server never got around to telling us what exactly was in it. This was definitely not a two-person meal as we only managed to tackle half of everything as you can see. It doesn't matter though because this made for a great lunch the next day. So what was left over from yesterday was the special sausage which the waiter didn't tell us what that meant but um I mean they do kind of look like breakfast sausages and they have a darker meat color to it than as opposed to this one, which is a little more red. Mmm. It's more compact and a little more dry than the other sausages, but that might also be because we had it overnight and then we reheated it again. It does taste similar to a breakfast sausage, just a little harder and a little more compact. Next is the darker one, which our server told us yesterday was venison. Mm -hmm. This one had a bit of a, a smokier texture to it. And I would say it's a little more salty than the special sausages. And it does you do taste that it's a lot of lean meat. So this one, even though I said it was a little dry, it still felt like there was still a bit of fat mixed within it. Whereas this one just seems like it's mostly, mostly lean meat that makes up, that makes this up. 
and it's mostly lean meat that's packed into it. So the last one is the, the big red one, which I didn't get to try yesterday. It does look a little more fatty than the rest. You can see that there's little spots of fat pockets. I think this one's my favorite. This one's like the, the most smoky out of all the ones I tasted. And it has a good balance of fat to meat ratio. And I, it's like, it's the closest thing to what you would eat at a barbecue when you have a hot dog. That's kind of what the sausage is mostly like. And um, what I want to say is that the sauerkraut isn't as sour <laughs> as, or like the flavors aren't as strong as other places I've had it. But I think it's because all the other sausages have such strong flavors that you really don't want a whole bunch of really crazy flavors right next to it to add to it. And the mashed potatoes also aren't overly seasoned. There isn't a lot of stuff added to it, like cheese or anything like that. It's just a basic potato, which I think in this particular case, because you're eating so much sausages as a sampler, it actually works really well. The total for this meal was $54.80. I suggest coming with a bigger group than two if you want to try more things because the portions are definitely made for sharing. I enjoyed all the sausages, but at the end of the night, it was a bit of a sausage overload, though I'm sure I'll be craving these again soon. So that's it for now. Thanks for joining me. I hope you subscribe and see you next video.